Hello friends. So today we talk about the individual value plus. So let's get started. Suppose that we want to assess how consistently the laser machine produces a circle with target diameter is 70 mm. If we take a random sample of 15 samples from each of two production lines, so what is useful way for us to display the data? One choice would be a dot plot, which we learned, learned about in the last lesson. Another graph we could use is the individual value plot. The individual value plot this displays the individual data points for a single variable or a group of numeric variables. The vertical scale, the vertical scale is for the data value, for the data values. The points are spread out. Uh, by are spread out on the horizontal direction to allow, allow us to see all the individual values even if some are the same or very close to each other. Here are the data, point, uh, data from line 1 with dimension that range from 58 to 63 mm although there, there are no obvious outliers in this data set we can see that the individual value plus would make them easy to spot. So here an example of the data from line, line 1 and line 2. So what can we conclude about the database on the on this individual value plot? Okay, we can see the line 2 has samples with a wider variety of dimension. So let's review. Individual value plus provide a way to view all the data values of one or more numeric variables. They are especially useful for small data sets and for comparing groups. Thank you for the listening. In the next lesson, we we'll talk about the box plots.